striking is because they only talk to us when we strike. Our attempts at negotiation had just been constantly, really rudely brushed off. Letters not replied to, meetings called late, information supplied 20 minutes before we were due to go into the meeting. We know that we are in the right. They have not listened. We are the biggest asset the GDST has. We always have been. They need to recognize that. We need them to negotiate with us. Today they have a chance to do that at two o'clock. GDST is not too late. Let us help negotiate. GDST is not too late. Let us help negotiate. We were put in a terrible position by essentially being told that we were going to be fired in August and have to sign a new contract which took our teachers' pension scheme away. The Aviva pension, it's markedly lower, on average 20%. And even if you put in the best case scenario for the markets being fantastic for the next 10 years or whatever, um, we lost out. It's like they're reaching into their pockets and taking their money from us. Over the last few years, we've understood how much pressure the GDST has been under. When they've said, you can't get pay rights, we did that. When they've given us really small incremental pay rises, way below inflation, we've taken that too. For the good of the company, for the good of our schools. But we're now 8% below inflation. And they want us to give up the security we were promised in our contracts. After strike action, they've eventually said, oh, you can have it, but you're going to have less of a salary. And that's an unpleasant scenario. And we still think there's room to move on that. But then they were also saying new hires aren't going to get it. And that's going to generate a recruitment crisis, because why would you come here? I've got, I don't know, seven to ten years left, and I'd have to leave. I'd have to leave this school. One of the fears we have as a profession is if they take it away from us here, they'll then move on to the academies. And then eventually it will go from the state sector because it will diminish and dwindle. And we voted overwhelmingly to strike in the first place. Yesterday we came up with a vote to continue the strike action. There was the opportunity in our meeting yesterday for us to suspend strike action. And I have to admit that, you know, my, I voted to continue the strike, I did, but my, my finger hovered over both buttons. And under the circumstances at the moment with, with the pandemic and with how far behind our girls are, I, this has been a very, very difficult decision for me. It's not one I've taken lightly. The fact that we're still out on strike, I'm finding very, very difficult, but I do feel that it is very important that we're still here today. I wholeheartedly support the teachers in their um, concepts of wanting a proper negotiation to a proper settlement. Every time they are offered a full and final settlement is a strong person saying you will do what I want and that is inappropriate, that's not an agreement. We feel like the trust doesn't have our best interests at heart and that's heartbreaking, it's heartbreaking. We have no reason to trust that the head brass, that the people in, the, you know, in their ivory towers are going to respond to a show of good faith and compassion when we have been in this negotiation all the way through and up until very recently with a gun to our heads. It really is the case that none of us want to be here. I desperately want to be back in that building tomorrow teaching the girls who are having those exams this summer. That is my fervent wish. I really, really hope that today the NEU and Trust can come to an agreement. They try to take away our pensions and we say no, no, no. Trust. I'm afraid it has been lost. They try to take away our pensions, and we say no, no, no. We have put to you the 
three different sets of proposals. The simplest proposal is that you use the 2K that you promised to each of us to fund staying in the TPS until the revaluation in 2024. It doesn't cost you any more than you were going to spend anyway. When they say flexibility and all those options, they want the flexibility to be able to change the GDST flexible pension plan to whatever they see fit. If we sign up to that, our TPS ones that hold out, we won't be getting any pay rises for decades. They haven't negotiated at any point. They've been at pains to point out they're not negotiating, they are clarifying. It comes from the rule book of how to break strikes. They do not want to give the appearance that they're giving us anything. But last night was the first night that I slept soundly before a strike because I realised today I am striking for the principle of honesty and the principle of negotiation. In the negotiations, we conceded an awful lot to the GDST in terms of our pension, in terms of our pay. Then in a union meeting later of just under a thousand attendees, a very large percentage said that they wanted to call off the strike action as long as the GDST agreed to go to ACAS next week. That's put straight away to, to the GDST and then the GDST said no. I was thinking about what lesson plans I wanted to put in place for tomorrow for my students at like 20 past six and by quarter to seven I was making another banner which I didn't want to make. We really didn't want to have to strike today and we want to be back in school teaching as it is World Book Day. The GDST are just not prepared to talk. They're completely intransigent about it without explaining why. We're all kind of reasonable people. If there was an explanation of this is impossible because of this, fine, uh, but we're not getting there. I think if they start negotiating earlier in the day rather than meeting at three o'clock in the afternoon, it might give them a longer period of time to make these discussions and it's not something that can be decided quickly. If GDST had had these conversations earlier and we'd seen some kind of negotiation, some kind of compassion towards the teachers rather than just not wanting to lose face, which is what it kind of feels like at the moment, especially today. It's appalling how they're prepared to lie. They've said this so many times before in terms of the NEU won't negotiate, the NEU won't meet us. That is just, it's just lies and propaganda and spin. We're all working so hard for our schools and being treated like this is just an insult to us and just a real slap in the face, basically, of all the extra hours and the time. It's a job that is very demanding. Um, and lockdown was incredibly demanding um, because we were in completely unfamiliar situations. We had to learn a completely different way to do our jobs very, very suddenly. We kept everything going and we put on tons of extra provisions. So we had students for way longer than we would have had. We came up with new courses of study for our students. That took hours of preparation and we went above and beyond. We love our job. We love teaching. We love sharing knowledge and we are passionate um, about that. We don't get into it for the pay. We get into it because we love seeing the best outcomes for young people and I'm devastated to have six days not in the classroom. I'm utterly the least militant person ever. I'm, you know, I'm as surprised as anyone else that I'm out here on strike before I came to teach here. I worked at CERN, I worked at Tevatron, big particle accelerator in the States, and I was one of the team who first observed the Higgs boson. I love coming here and sharing my passion, hoping to inspire the next generation of physicists. And that's really why I'm on strike, because I'm, I'm quite worried about the our terms and what it means for the next generation of teachers coming through because without the TPS this job is not so attractive. You can get the teachers pension scheme at any school uh, locally, any state school um, and we would like to remain in it without uh, being punished and penalised with things like pay cuts and the money to go to the teachers pension scheme to come out of our back pocket. We're expected to now pay into our pension and give employee in contrib contributions which I just think is ridiculous but I'm willing to do that as long as there's a bit of a meeting halfway situation. Certainly Putney we're staying extremely solid you know you've got nearly every single head of year on strike the heads of nearly all the major departments are out, are out on strike. There is commitment there's passion and we really hope that the GDST will listen to normal teachers. <laughs>